I have over 100 markers here, but we are only going to be using the red ones to turn Ratatouille into a masterpiece. Let's get started. It is time to get into... Conspiracy! Now, for those of us that have seen Ratatouille, we all know that Gusto is a great, considered the greatest chef in the world. And for those of you that haven't seen Ratatouille, I definitely recommend going and checking it out. Anyway, have you ever considered that maybe Gusto had a rat pulling all of the strings in his hat like Remy does for Linguini? I never used to really be into conspiracy theories with Disney movies, but honestly, this one's making a lot of sense. Because in the movie, when Skinner reads a letter from Linguini's mom, which I totally forgot about, but it was stating that he is Gusto, Linguini is Gusto's son. And of course Skinner is shocked into disbelief at this moment because that could mean that he loses control over his restaurant. But it started to make a lot of sense for things if Linguini is actually Gusto's son. Anyway, of course Skinner wants to find out whether this claim is true or not. So he immediately goes to his lawyer who suggests that he get a DNA sample from Linguini to run against the hair sample that he had found on Gusto's old hat. And Linguini doesn't have any idea that any of this is even happening. So if they don't ever run the DNA test then there's nothing they can really do to convert this, so nothing will happen. After the lawyer comes back, he claims that he had to get the test redone because it came back the first time as rodent hair, which is kind of suspicious. During all of this, Skinner is having a huge mental breakdown over rats because he's starting to think the exact same thought that we are having, and he thinks that the hair that came back as rodent hair may have come from a rat in his kitchen, aka Remy. Which honestly doesn't make any sense at all because in the movie we never actually see Skinner get a hair DNA sample from Linguini. So I don't know why he would be thinking that. The only hair sample that we ever see Skinner give to his lawyer was from Gusto and his old hat. Yeah, they might have done it off camera and had him do it off camera, but that just wouldn't make any sense. And also later on in the movie we see Skinner tempt Linguini into giving him another form of DNA when he offers him a drink of wine in his office later that night, which means that allowed Skinner to have access to a different form of DNA being Linguini's saliva. So that must mean that the hair had come from Gusto's hat. And why would Gusto's hat have rodent hair on it unless he had someone pulling the strings for him? Like, when, like Remy does for Linguini. Think about it. That is going to be it for today's conspiracy theory. Let me know what you guys would like to see next. And comment down your thoughts below.